This is this story. Someone, t uh, one of my producers told me about the story, and I was like, this is right up my alley. This is, I love cats, and the fact that you decided after you retired to climb trees and get cats out of trees is fantastic. So, uh, <laughs> and how far, what's the furthest you've traveled to rescue a cat? Like, if they, like, would you drive like an hour or two, or? Well, I've had a limit my range, but uh, an hour is what I like to keep it to, but uh -huh. I've traveled as, far, as long as four and a half hours to get a cat out of a tree. Wow. Cat was in the tree for, for a month, for four weeks. And uh, I, I was their only hope. Other people had tried to get the cat out of the tree, and they called me, and I got the cat out of the tree. Now, I, I think out. most people think that they'll get themselves down, right? Everybody thinks, well, a cat climbs a tree, they'll get themselves down, but sometimes they just can't figure it out. <clears throat> well, uh, particularly young cats. Uh, cats can cl climb up. They got grappling hooks. Right. But some cats don't figure figure out. You got back up to get down. Right. And uh, some never figure it out and they get scared up there and they'll, yeah. they'll stay up there until they die. Oh, literally. That, that's horrible. Uh, that's, it is. See, I think people need to know that. I think people yeah. don't don't realize that. Yeah. Okay, so how's this start? So you retire and uh, did you just climb a tree one day to get a cat out and someone said, oh, I'm, I'm going to use you again? Or how did this start? Uh, well, <clears throat> When I retired, I started climbing trees, um, <laughs> mostly because mostly because I was afraid of heights. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So uh, you just climb trees just for the hell of it? Yeah, just for the hell of it. Okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, one day, uh, 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 my uh, a fellow tree climber said, "Hey, why don't you rescue cats?" So I made me a, a, a cat bag, uh, and. Uh, uh, contacted the local fire department said, hey, I know you don't do it, call me. And, uh, and so I got my first call and I, I go there my, with my wife and uh, uh, it was a neighborhood cat. The cat, the cat came to me and uh, I got the cat down and the neighbors were just ecstatic to get the cat down. And so I was hooked. I was so, hooked. so wait, when you say you got yourself a cat bag, like, like you just... Got a cat bag. I don't even know what that means. You made a bag to be able to put, because you can't hold it and can't climb down at the same time. Well, yeah. And how do you get a cat in a bag? It seems like they wouldn't want to get in a bag. I, I made a special bag. Has, has a net on the end of it, so I can put my hand through it. I see. I grabbed the cat. Okay. Pull it through. And, and, and scruff it a little bit. Pull the bag over the cat. How clever is that? And uh, then sense it. Right. And then I got the cat in the bag. How many cats a day do you rescue? This year, I've done over 290 rescues. Wow. And, and how do you usually get up? Do you bring a ladder, or do you use a rope, or how do you usually get up the tree that high? <clears throat> well, I, I've rescued cats as high as 110 feet up. And so I get my rope up in the tree, and there's a special technique in order to get that rope up in the tree. But literally, I climb the rope. Well, you've overcome your fear if you're going 110 feet up in a tree. Yes. That's uh -huh. quite overcoming. Yeah, yeah, That's amazing. Yeah. So you've been married 50 years. Your wife is in the audience. Mm -hmm. Your wife did not believe when we called. She thought we were someone was trying to scam you, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> It's no scam. I just think what he does is amazing. I love stories like this. Um, we're going to take a break. More with Norma after this. We're back with cat rescuer Norma Adams. And uh, so if you're in the Fayetteville, Georgia area, this is the guy. That um, how, do, how do people find you? Like, if people are interested and they, they see the show right now, how do they, just Norma Adams, they look you up? Uh, I, got, I, got, I got a Facebook page called Cat Man Do Rescue. Cat Man Do. Yeah. Um, that, and that's how most of them get. All right, Cat Man Do Rescue. And yeah. I asked him if he has cats, and he has two, and he keeps them inside so that they can't climb trees. <laughs> um, so you've done over a thousand rescues. No, I've done 948 rescues. Not not a thousand. Not a thousand. Not yet. And and you do all. How much do you charge if someone says I need a cat out of the tree? What do you charge them? Uh, Ellen, I don't charge. Uh, <laughs> When I retired, I said I will never work again as an employee. And, uh, and so I do this because I can and because I want to and because I know I'm in, impacting people's lives. That must feel so good that it, you're doing something so 
like helping so many people. Um, well, uh, yeah, I know you cover all your own expenses, so I partnered with Tisbest, and they want to help cover some of those costs. Mm. So they're giving you a check for ten thousand dollars. Oh, there's a cat. Oh. For you. Okay. That's for you. Okay. And Tisbest charity gift cards are a better gift for any occasion, so they want to give you also a gift card, a five thousand dollar gift card, so you can donate to any charity of oh, your choice. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you're, you. Welcome. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Also, there's something else we wanted to give you a few items uh, to add to your Katmandu collections. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. All right. So, <laughs> to experience okay. the true power of giving, visit tisbest.org. I want to thank Jamie Foxx and all of you for watching. Thanks for being a part of my final season. I feel the love in this room. I give it back to you. Go out and spread it around in the world, everybody. Bye.